Good morning, Mr. Carson. Take a seat. Good morning. Since so you serve three years in prison for assault and you will be doing six months on parole. You will need to report back to me within the next five days and then I will check in with you once a week. The address you submitted, I contacted the homeowner and she doesn't want you to live there. Where else can I reside you to? My mother's address would be the only place that I can go to. Well, if she's not okay with your stay, then we had to move you somewhere else. And if you have nowhere to go, I will send you to a halfway house to accommodate your stay while you get back on your feet. All right, I understand. Okay, so what we're going to do today is review all the conditions based upon your parole, and you will sign here at the bottom. Our main focus today is going to find you a job to get you back into the community. For now, I recommend you apply to McDonald's. It's an easy start, and I will be referring you to a special needs program to help assist you with any accessible training and rehabilitation services. You will get back to me in a couple days to let me know how everything went, okay? Okay. Good afternoon, Mr. Gomez. How are you doing today? Good, good. Okay, so it says here you served five years at the Lopez State Jail, correct? Yes. What was your crime there? Uh, assault. Okay. I'm looking at your record here, and it shows you have a history of anger management issues and drinking problems. I'm going to refer you to special programs, Alcoholics Anonymous and a court-ordered anger management program. These are mandatory. You must attend each session because they will be a part of your parole conditions. I, I really don't need all that. Well, these are required conditions of your parole. I contacted your family already to make sure you're able to live there. I will do home visits twice a week, but I can show up anytime and you will come check in with me once a week. You understand that? Yeah. Here we can review your parole contract and you will sign below that you understand and accept these conditions. I'm sorry, but why do I need to attend all these programs if I'm fine? I mean, I had a minor incident and now all of a sudden I'm the bad guy that needs to do all these programs. Sir, these are mandatory requirements for your community supervision to help benefit your well-being and make sure that you are on the right track. No, 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 no. You're just doing what you're told. You don't actually care about my well-being. I'm in charge of your supervision. It is our job to help you, but it is your job to accept the help too. I need you to understand that these programs are going to assist you with the help that you need. These programs are there to help you transition back into the community. <sighs> okay, I understand. You will report back to me on Monday at 9 a.m. and I will see you then, all right? Okay. Thank you. Mr. Rodriguez? Yes. Okay. Have a seat. Today we will be reviewing your terms and conditions for your parole. Here is a list of what is mandatory. I need you to review and understand each one. All right. Based on your file, I see that you will be staying with your relatives. I contacted them this afternoon and everything is good to go. Now we should focus on is looking for a job for you. Your education is at a good standing, so no need for GED courses. Your state mandates will be for you to come in once a week. You must be able to find an application by the end of the week and apply. I can recommend you a list of applications for you to apply to. You must report to me if your resident address decides to change and you will submit a year analysis or a blood testing when instructed. Do you have any questions for me? I don't. Okay. If you choose to violate any of these conditions, I will notify the parole board and they have the right to issue a warrant for your arrest. This is your copy. You can sign here below. This one too? Yes. Okay. You will report back to me Wednesday at 10 a.m., okay? All right, Matt. Will do. It is important that we create programs that will help individuals reintegrate back into society so that they can rebuild what they once lost. People with parole supervision have lower recidivism rates than those who do not. Reintegration is an opportunity to become a productive citizen and to be given a second chance to become a better person and re-enter the community. Offenders coming out of prison often have no support and this makes it easy to revert back to where one came from. And although they may have burnt bridges, reintegration programs may serve to build new ones.